Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video and firstly I would just like to quickly apologize for the lack of videos in the last few weeks. I'm not going to sit here and sob story you with the reason why, because there is one blanket reason why I went from posting literally about three videos a week across both of my channels to just radio silence on most of my social media. I think in this time I've literally posted like one or two photos on Instagram as well and I have very, very very good reason for that and that's what this video is about as you guys will have seen in the title I do have news by me thinking now of what Jacob will have made the thumbnail you guys might have some idea and if you are following me on my other social medias then you should have some idea what's going on as well basically what's happened is in the last say month and a half me and one of my friends who you guys will meet very soon have decided to just completely flip our lives on their head because you guys know that I currently reside on the tiny little pubic area shaped island at the bottom of Australia. I live in Tasmania. We have just decided to upheave our lives in the middle of a global pandemic and move to the mainland. I'll get into some blanket Q&As to save you guys asking the questions a little bit later in the video but basically I just wanted to sit down now because I've just finished packing all of my bags and everything and I wanted to record one last bit on my little set because I do love this area for filming with my you know all of my stuff so I thought I would sit down and just tell you guys this shock horror news because I know you guys have been wondering why I haven't uploaded anything in the last few weeks. I know I do apologize but it has just been absolutely so crazy busy literally flipping my life on its head getting ready to completely move states but I promise from here on out we have been recording so much content during this move and you guys are going to be really happy and excited hopefully I am for the content that's coming and also today George wanted to just come and sit down and say a quick sign Nara to the channel for now because she is staying here in little old Tasmania for now and she's so sad to see me go. She's so sad. <laughs> she's so sad. Look at her eyes. I look so bad. We're pretty. So yeah, Georgia just wanted to sit down, say sayonara to the channel and um, yeah, let's get on and I'm going to answer, I'm going to, so let's move on and I'm going to give, so, <laughs> what am I saying? So yeah, George just wanted to sit down. I wanted to sit there. So George just wanted to sit fuck off. So I just wanted to sit down and give you my s <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, let's like go. like 12 o'clock. 11. Stop it. <laughs> it's the 12th time. <laughs> it's the last thing I'm ever gonna film here, okay? Leave me alone. Okay. Last thing you're ever gonna film here in your whole life. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to sit down and give you guys my shock horror news, explain my radio silence on social media, and Georgia also wanted to say sayonara to the channel for now. So yeah, let's progress into the kind of Q&A portion of this video. Let's go. See ya, George. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Wait, Georgia, my camera, the camera. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I really hope that transition worked as well in real life as it worked in my head when I came up with it. But, hello everybody, welcome back, even though you would probably be about halfway through this video at the moment. It has been a solid almost week since I filmed that last bit with Georgia, and boy oh boy has this last week of my life probably been one of the most insane weeks of my life. So, but in the time between those last two clips, I have moved states, I've moved into my brand new apartment, which you guys are going to see very soon. As soon as I'm done filming this, we are going to shoot a full-blown apartment tour. That video is an absolute dream. Even just the thought of filming my own apartment tour, Oh my god, it sends shivers down my spine. That is like a dream video I've wanted to make for such a long time. I just wanted to sit down today, one, because I wanted to tease you guys about the apartment because I am so, like, it's, it's not even... I can't describe how happy I am with what we managed to get ourselves for my first apartment moving interstate during a global pandemic. I, I literally can't even explain it. When we first talked about moving and moving into an apartment, this is exactly what I envisioned myself living in and somehow it's come to fruition so much better than I could have ever imagined it. So this is day three living here. We moved in on Friday, this is currently Monday. Over the weekend, we've just been kind of getting stuff together 
together, getting settled in. That's why I haven't filmed anything so far and why I still haven't posted. So I do apologize on the radio silence on social media. I haven't even posted a photo on Instagram in like 11 days, which is unheard of for me, I know. Um, but I promise all of that content is coming this last week, as I hope you will appreciate, has been insane. Like, as a lot of you would know who, because I'm sure a lot of you will have moved houses before in your life, it is an absolutely insane time trying to move house let alone trying to move to a different state. I would go as far as to say it's almost like moving to a new country. We couldn't just drive our stuff. As well as it being in the middle of a global pandemic, everything is shut down. We haven't been able to go and meet up with people. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, why did you move during a global pandemic? I'm gonna get to that, okay? We will get there. It's been really good, it's been really easy, but there have been some things that are like, oh, COVID, ugh. I guess I just wanted to forward answer a couple of questions that I would have for myself if I was watching this video I'm being like what but I'm there. like that's what I imagine a lot of you would be doing when you hear the news of why and also based on questions that I've got from people who have messaged me the first big question that I have received over the last few days have been why are you moving like what what are you moving for? And I guess the simple answer for that is that I'm simply moving because of the opportunity. I love Tasmania as a place, it's an absolutely stunning place to live and it's really low key and cool, but I am such a city goer. I have spent so much time in Melbourne in the last couple of years. Some of the best experiences I've had in my life over the last couple of years have happened in this city. And whenever I've found myself here for whatever reason, I have just been so content and happy. When I'm here, I feel so much more creatively free. And now I can't really say why. I don't know what it is. I think it's just something about the anonymity of being in a big city and not, nobody knowing who you are and everyone going about their own business. So I can go out and film anything and you know, vlog in public, you know, when that's, that's still a thing, even though there's no public to vlog in at the moment. You know what I mean? And no one cares because everyone's too busy going about their own business. Having feet on the ground in a place like this is amazing. Like, you guys will remember if you've been around for a while, last year I was up here for VidCon and- Hello! Hi guys, I'm here with um, Ava. And it was the best week of my life. Like I met some amazing people. I made some really good friends and yeah, so that's kind of why I'm moving. And also just the fact that life is in lockdown at the moment, especially in Victoria, like cases are starting to go back up of COVID at the moment. To a lot of people that would wave a big red flag, like, oh my God, stay away from the city. But for me, it's like, I'm not going to be out in public anyways. I want to be here so I can have feet on the ground post COVID. Cause I've wanted to move here for the, for the longest time. And I just see this as an opportunity to getting while well, life is slow in a big city where it's so much hustle and bustle and everyone's always going and doing things getting in while there's not much going on like the city is so dead is such a good opportunity because that means that you can use that dead time to get yourself settled in like we're getting settled into the apartment we can get cheap rent we can get heaps of sales on like homewares and furniture and clothes and everything like heaps of shopping savings because no one's shopping we're also getting government support both myself and jonathan who you guys will meet soon have lost income due to pandemic so we're getting government support so we're putting that money back into the economy by renting an apartment and putting it back into retail by furnishing the apartment doing that kind of stuff i know at the front line when you when i you know when if to you guys, me saying, I moved to a different city where COVID is getting worse by the day would sound crazy, but to me, it is so opportunistic. That was a really long-winded question for a really simple answer. That was a really long-winded question for a really simple answer. I think I literally started this by saying, the short answer is, and then continue to talk about it for six minutes. Anywho, another question is how is the apartment? As I said at the start of this half of the video, either today, depending on, okay, I think the sun's about to go down because it's like daylight savings and it's 20 past four. Hey Siri, what time is sunset? Five eleven. So still got half an hour. We might get the apartment tour film today. Anywho, point of the matter is the apartment is phenomenal. So we're living in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment in an apartment building with a gym and a pool, and it was fully furnished. So most, like all of this furniture, came with the apartment, so we didn't have to move and then sleep on the ground. I've been thinking, and if you guys want me to make a dedicated video about how we got here and the money it cost for Jonathan and I to set up the apartment based on our personal experience, I think that could be a really cool and informative video on something that I definitely would have loved to have had going into this experience. So if you guys want me to 
tell you about the vacuum cleaner that we brought and the linen that we bought and how much all of this stuff costs. If you guys want me to do an actual how much money this stuff costs for the first time living out of home, let me know. Leave a comment, I can make that happen. What are you doing for money? This is kind of a really wish-washy answer for me because I don't even have an answer. So I can't give you an answer and I'm just gonna like make it up. The honest truth is at the moment, I am living off my savings as well as my government support money that I'm receiving. As I said, if you guys want a full video about my income and like how how much money I'm making and how I spread that out to for my living expenses, how I'm planning on spreading it out for my living expenses because I haven't I've only been here for four days. But if you guys want that, let me know. So I'm living off government support at the moment as well as a few film and photography clients and jobs that I did before I left. What I'm doing is I'm spending this time while I have the income support that I have to try and set myself up income wise to hopefully be able to support myself from home. I have a very good work ethic, but I'm also very stubborn when it comes with being told what to do. That was always the case. So I had lots of jobs growing up, like managers really liked me as an employee, but I would deep down get really like pissed off. So I just didn't enjoy that employee manager relationship. I've always wanted to do my own thing. And for the last few years I have, I've been running my own videography and photography business. 90% of my income has come from me being self-employed and working for my own money. I'm using this time and being in a do or die situation where it's like, if I don't make money, I'm not gonna be able to pay rent. And that's what it is at the end of the day. So I'm using this time where I am supported to work my ass off to get myself to a point where I can support myself without having to get a proper job. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for money and that's how I'm currently supporting myself. I'm gonna go and edit this and post it because I appreciate that there have been people commenting and Instagram DMing me asking if I was okay because I went from posting three YouTube videos a week to absolute radio silence with no explanation. But that's because this whole move has been so stressful and I'm so excited for what the future has to hold. So I hope the wait has been worth it and I know it has for me. The content that is coming is so exciting. So I really hope you guys are excited. This has been my news. I have moved to Melbourne from Tasmania. Apartment tour coming this week. And if you guys want to go and check it out, I have been vlogging semi-regularly throughout the process. So I will be uploading those vlogs up on the second channel very soon about moving and like the first couple of days living in the apartment. And I will continue to do that into the future. So if you guys do want to go and check out that, the link to my second channel will be in the description. But yeah, Thank you guys all so much for watching and waiting because I know that it must have been stressful for you guys thinking that I have died. But yes, make sure everyone go, make sure you go and follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time with my apartment tour. Oh my God, I am so excited. You guys have no idea how long I have wanted to up, like film and upload my own house slash apartment tour and I am about to film it and then I'm gonna be uploading it as my next video. This is so surreal guys. This is my life. This is this is my apartment. I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. I'm so excited for what's to come. Peace out. Oh my god I almost got my outro. If you guys want to another video don't forget to click one of these cards down here and yeah I will see you guys in another video. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Bye George. Let's see how we go. There you guys. <laughs> my blood, my blood, through my mind, my mind.